Hi guys, how we doing today? Thank you for stopping by to take a look at the video with me today. So we have uh, the witch that Kiki meets on her journey is what we are painting today. We're starting out with, from the pencil drawing, we are jumping right in with a 005 Prisma Color Fine Liner instead of when we did Kiki, I believe it was a 0.5 or a point two one that we did it on. Um, we went ahead and jumped in with the 005. I was afraid that we were going to have a little bit of a problem seeing the drawing after we started painting, and it wasn't the case. It was actually uh, pretty easy to continue to see it as we painted along until you got some of the thick, layers of paint and in that case like we didn't really need the drawing underneath anymore um i like all kinds of fine liners i like to try out a lot of different ones i need to get a couple different sizes from pigeon letters i don't know if any of you have ever heard of that channel they also sell uh, some things and fine liners is one of them and the cool thing about their fine liners which i need to get a few different sizes is that instead of that square tip on the end, that if you kind of write on the edge of it, you can kind of lose the line a little bit or it's not as smooth. Their tips kind of have a rounded end to them, which is a lot better, a lot smoother. And so I need to quit holding on to them like they're gold as well and start using them. Does anybody do that with their art supplies that are either expensive or their favorite ones i do that too much with certain things you know if you've got good things whether they're expensive or they're your favorite um you should be using them right you never know when you're not going to be able to use them or you know who's held on to paints for a certain amount of time because they were excited to use them or they were their favorite or they were really expensive and then you open them sometime later because you're going to finally use them and they're dried up or they are ruined in some sort of way and the lesson is i guess that you know you live for the day right you gotta you got it use it and it doesn't do you any good if you've got great paper and you're just practicing on the less great paper to save it i mean sometimes if you're just playing around you don't want to be wasteful but I think for the most part with art, there's a lot of things that you can do when, when you're talking about watercolor paper, especially that you're just not going to be able to do on lesser papers and stuff. And so you're going to get frustrated. You're going to not think you are able to do certain things that you are only because of your materials and stuff. And so um, I encourage everybody out there, if they've got some cool paint, brushes or great paper and stuff to use them you know not be wasteful but use it because it's going to go a long way to help you in your art journey and so now that we've gone on a tangent about our supplies and living for the moment and using it we're taping her up at the top and so that we are so that we have a nice crisp line uh, where the sky ends and where the sketchbook begins. Again, this is the sketchbook. This is the Strathmore Vision Sketchbook Mixed Media. Uh, it's a pretty good sketchbook, especially when you're doing paints and stuff like that on it. You know, I wouldn't use it for any final pieces or anything, but I think it's pretty good for uh, what it is that we're doing. You know, a nice piece, uh, a good study of the screen cap. Of uh, Kiki, is anybody else is uh, Kiki one of their favorite movies? I like all the Ghibli movies. I think she's one of my favorites. I don't know if she is the favorite. Um, so I figured it was about time doing a few screen captures of that movie. Maybe I'll do a few other you know Ghibli movie screen captures as well. There's some other favorites that I have that. I've been wanting to do. Um, so we're starting to get in with the acrylic wash. And 
So just going around, you can see like it, the fine liner really does show up really well underneath it. And you can tell that if it was pencil, you'd be losing it pretty quickly, especially with the pencil. Uh, the mechanical pencil that I use has 2H lead in it so that when I'm doing the watercolor or painting on top, it doesn't turn into a big graphite mess on top on there. And um, so we would lose it pretty quickly if we didn't go over it with the fine liner. Of course, after we finish all the layers and painting and blending and stuff like that, we've got to go over it again, at least if not every part for the most part uh, all around it because it obviously dims it and uh, you can still see it enough where you've got to do it, but it doesn't look like a nice crisp line at the end of it. So we are painting her with the acrylic ash going in with the eyes and the little green eye on the cat. I am probably going to let you guys just continue to watch the painting below. If you guys have any ideas of any, you know, we were talking about some of the other Ghibli movies. If you guys have any other ideas on screen caps or, you know, animals or any ideas of things that you want to see painted or any... Things that you want to see in general with the videos on, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I would love to know what you guys are looking for and what we can do, which you guys would be excited to see. So thank you for coming out and watching the video with me today. And um, if you don't mind, go ahead and like and subscribe. A small little channel like me needs all the help she can get. So... I appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a great day. And go out there and use your great, your favorite, your best art supplies today. Thank you. Have a good one.